Okay, man, yeah. No, that's stressful. Um, all right, let me tell you all about it. Uh, so, what's it like? The question is, what's it like playing at locals uh, and those stuff? Um, it's fun. You, uh, there's like local tournaments uh, in a lot of places, and you go find them, and you uh, you play, and you meet people, and uh, the more often you go, the more um, more people you know, and then you're kind of buddies, and then then you see them at the locals, you see them at other tournaments. If you go to a major, um, uh, you play them online, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, you will get a lot better if you start going to locals. Um, I haven't been great about it recently, just because the biggest the the local that's close to me is not that close. It's like an hour and a half away. Um, I live in like San Francisco Bay Area, and there used to be um, one real close to me in San Jose, which was real nice. Um, but now the closest one is in Oakland. Um, and I'm old, and I have a kid, so I don't go up to Oakland all that often because that's a long way. Um, But when there's tournaments nearby, uh, or majors that are like on the west coast or close by, um, I try to get out if I can if I can spare a weekend. Um, I just went to Northwest Majors uh, last weekend, a couple days ago, and that was real fun. Um, any other questions about that? To be clear, I don't do super well. Like when I go, I yeah, um, I made top eight at a local one time, but uh, that's the best I've ever done. Uh, I can occasionally get a game on, like, really strong players in casuals. Um, sometimes I'll beat a strong player in tournament, but it's it's not common. I can, if I go, like, 2-2 two and two or 3-2 and two at a tournament, I'm very, very happy. I, uh, I usually don't go 0-2 anymore, but it happens, man. Do nerves affect me? That is a great question. Um, it gets better. It gets a lot better. Um, the more you play, it, this is my experience. Um, I just recent, I just this weekend, I thought to myself, you know what? I don't have tournament nerves anymore. Um, and it might have been just that I was kind of among like familiar faces, like I know a lot of the Seattle Tekken people now, uh, and my Bay Area friends were there. Um, uh, that is a great question. Really, thanks for asking. Um, it gets better and better. So I've been playing in tournaments for like uh, like five years now, um, off and on. And the first time, my very first tournament that I ever went to, um, I was so nervous. And it was really funny because it was this tiny, tiny tournament. It was actually um, only three people showed up to play. Um, this was Tekken Tag 2 at the time. Only three people showed up. So we did a round robin for $15. And, uh, you know, huge, like, Tekken World Tour winnings, right? Like, $15 were on the line. And, uh, and I was so nervous. At this tiny tournament, this was in Indianapolis, Indiana, and very, very few people showed up uh, at this particular... It's a great tournament. It's called um, Godlike Saturdays. They still run it. Um, uh, but that week just happened to be really, really light. And... Um, and my hands were shaking. And it was so funny, right? Because it was, you know, this tiny town. I mean, Indianapolis isn't a tiny town, but this little, little tournament. And uh, and I was just nervous out of my skull. And, um, but it gets better over time. Like, the more tournaments you play, um, in the past year or so, I feel I'm playing almost as good as I can play at home when I'm at a tournament. And um, just the more you do it, uh, the more you get used to it. It's kind of like public speaking, I think. Um, I used to be really nervous at public speaking, but my you know, career path, whatever, has led me to do a lot of it. So um, I got used to it. Um, I teach classes now sometimes, and um, 
I don't mind it anymore. And it's it's similar, but they're different, right? For like, I was I was really calm at public speaking for a long time, but um, you know, tournament nerves were still a thing. So they're they're independent skills for sure. But just the more times you put yourself in that situation, eventually, you know, you come to realize like if you lose, you know, you lose. It's not so bad. Like nothing bad happens if you lose. Um, you just lose, and that's fine. Um, nobody's gonna say anything mean to you. Um, one thing that people occasionally ask, um, not necessarily to me, but have people bring up, they say why they're scared to go to a tournament. I'm not saying that you're scared to go to a tournament, but if you were, people say, uh, I'm scared that I'm too bad to go to a tournament. People make fun of me. Um, nobody's gonna make fun of you. Um, people are real happy to see new people because we need the scene to grow, right? We need more people um, to play. And for me, like as kind of like a middling, you know, middle of the pack tournament player, I'm really happy when new people show up um, because I get to beat you. And that's really selfish, right? But I don't, my pride is at a point where I don't want to go 0-2. I'm, I'm trying to avoid going 0-2. And if there's like new players, this is really selfish, right? If there's new players, it's somebody for me to beat. Uh, but I'm not gonna say anything mean, right? I'm, I'm happy you're there and I just, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm happy you're there and I, I'll explain, you know, whatever, and I'm happy to help. It's just, you know, when it's tournament time, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take your, I'm gonna take your points. Um, and then, you know, like the really good players, um, I assume they feel the same way. You know, they're, they're just happy that new people are there and they're, they're ready to teach. You know, they want to explain to you how to be a better player. Um, and anybody who's, you know, any, who's not a jerk is going to be like that. And people who go to tournaments in person are pretty nice in general. Um, the only reason why somebody would get, uh, heated or like pop off or um, say anything is if they think you're a threat and you know in that kind of a situation and you know I'm not good enough nobody thinks I'm a threat right um. <laughs> yeah it's a great time it's a great time where do you live um, if you're in a big city or close to one I'm sure there's uh, there's tournaments nearby that you could find um. But it can get, like, among players who are, like, real strong, um, they'll sometimes, and they kind of know that the other one can take it, right? They'll get, um, they'll pop off, or they'll talk, talk smack to each other, um, and that's, that's hype, and that kind of adds to the excitement of the event. Um, for my matches, you know, nobody cares, it's, nobody gets that hype, that's just me. You have to be pretty serious before that's an issue. Yeah, I totally recommend it. Um, if you your city doesn't have a scene. It might. Um, it might. It depends on where you are. Um, uh, there is a, um, a spreadsheet that lists a bunch of... Maybe I can find the spreadsheet for you. it into the chat and this may help you find uh, a scene uh, there might be another one um, I don't know, there, there might be one, unless you live in like somewhere really remote, uh, it, is, it is pretty likely that somebody's playing close to you. 
um, you might just have to figure out how to find him. Um, a lot of people use Facebook to find people. Um, if you search on Twitter, maybe you can find people. Yeah, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I don't know, any other questions? Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks for chatting. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call the stream. Uh, yeah, make myself smaller. There, I'm smaller. Very nice. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's really nice. Wow, we got two viewers. Very exciting. <laughs> Sorry, two viewers. I'm about to close the stream. Uh, but I hope everybody had a, uh, a nice evening, and I will uh, see y'all later. Thanks for tuning in for Tekken 7 and discount life advice. Bye.